Hi, Top Cop recently um, asked on Talk Graphics uh, how to use the Google Maps widget. Um, I must admit I've never used the Google Maps widget. Uh, what I actually tend to do is to go to Google Maps, um, which defaults on my uh, home page um, of Harwich. Um, so I wanted to look for a city and I'm I've already looked at uh, I'll look at Kobe in Japan. Oops. Kobe. We'll just wait for it to load up. Okay. Um, let's shut this these down. I can never understand this this bit in Google Maps. And sometimes you can't even get the uh, this uh, settings tool disappears and you can't find it. Uh, you get very uh, odd recently. Anyway, let's put that to an earth view. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could hide all those to uh, totals. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Move up there like that. So you've got a good view of Kobe. Uh, and then if you go into the settings, and you, at the top here it says share or embed. Um, select, so don't share the link, but select the embed text. Um, depends what size you need, medium, small. Um, Large. Or you can go custom and make it say 600 by 500 or 480, say. Say preview exercise. And that's what you're going to get. Um, shut that down now. Um, and then if you just click on here, copy, close that now, open up web design or Zara, whatever you do. Hang on, whoops. Um, just put in a rectangle like that, click on that, go into the um, web properties, click on the placeholder, click on the body text, and then you control V into that, and go apply, OK. Then, if you uh, preview it, you can see you've got this uh, Google map on your web page. Um, quite simply, um, without using the the widget, um, so it's just an alternative way to do it. Anyway, hope that helped. This is Egg. Goodbye.